All right. Let's take a look at one last example. It says, determine the equation of the tangent line to the curve y is equal to the square root of x minus 2 at the point where x is equal to 6. So I have my f of x. I have the value I want x to equal, which is actually my a value. And then using that a value, I can solve my f of a or f of six, which is going to be the square root of six minus two, or the square root of four, which is just equal to two, which means that six and two is my point of tangency. All right, now, remembering that there are two formulas we can use to do this, we're gonna do it both ways. You're not gonna to have to do it both ways on the test, but you should know both ways. So, we have one formula. My slope is the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. Or my slope is equal to the limit as x approaches, my a value is 6, my f of x is still the square root of x minus 2, and I'm subtracting from that f of a, which is 2. And that's all over x minus a or x minus 6. Now in this case, I can already tell I'm going to have to rationalize my numerator. So I'm going to multiply this by the conjugate of the numerator, x minus two plus two. Now that's going to give me the slope a limit as x approaches 6 is going to be x minus square root of x minus 2 squared is just x minus 2. And I'm taking away from that 2 times 2, which is 4. And that's all over x minus 6 times that conjugate square root of x minus 2 plus 2. This is going to give me the slope of the limit as x approaches 6 is x minus 6 over x minus 6 and the square root of x minus 2 plus 2 and I can remove that common factor of x minus 6 from the top and the bottom and now I can do my direct substitution my slope is equal to 1 over the square root of x, which is now going to be 6, minus 2, plus 2, which is going to give me 1 over 4. We're going to do that using the other formula. The slope is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. This is going to give me the slope as the limit approaches 0 of h approaches 0 is the square root of my x is now 6 plus h minus 2 and that's all being subtracted by my f of a, which is 2 over h. And once again, like in the previous case, we're going to multiply this by the conjugate to rationalize the numerator. My conjugate in this case is going to be 
the square root of 6 plus h minus 2 plus 2. And that's going to give me the slope is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 6 plus h minus 2 minus 4, all divided by h. And the square root of 6 plus h minus 2 plus 2. Simplify the numerator, 6 plus h minus 2 minus 4 is going to just give me h. And that is going to be divided by h and the square root of 6 plus h minus 2. Well, here, let's simplify that. We're going to call that just h plus 4 plus 2. I can take the h away from the numerator and denominator. And when I do the direct substitution, I wind up with the slope is equal to 1 over the square root of 0 plus 4 plus 2, which is still going to give me 1 over 4. So if you're doing it right, once again, you're going to wind up canceling out an h from the numerator and denominator. And then we use our slope point form to solve what our equation is. y minus y1 is equal to m bracket x minus x1. I use my point of tangency. y minus 2 is equal to my slope of 1 over 4 bracket x minus 6. Or y minus 2 is equal to 1 over 4x minus 6 over 4. Got to get rid of those fractions by multiplying both sides by 4. 4y minus 8 is equal to x minus 6. And because x is positive, move everything to the x side. 0 is equal to x minus 4y plus 2. Therefore, x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 is our general form equation. And that's it.